Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to discuss the question that has been asked by many of my subscribers via emails, via, uh, you know, or live chats that do we require to have programming skills if we want to make our career interesting, right? Or they are asking, is programming required for, for making your career interesting, right? Now, see, uh, why is programming required? Now, first of all, the very straightforward answer I'll give you, yes, it is very much required. Now, why is programming required? You don't need to write big chunks of code or, you know, you don't need to develop uh, some kind of software or application. But if you know programming, then it would be beneficial for you to do automation testing, to do test automation, right? Now, in many of the companies, as you are already aware, the people are using Selenium. Now, Selenium can be used along with the programming languages such as Java, Python, C Sharp, .NET. And if you are knowing any of these programming language, then it would be easier for you to do test automation. It would be easier to you for you to do REST API automation, REST assured automation, right? So automation would be a cakewalk for you. So you don't need to um, have a fear of learning programming. It, you should have passion passion to learn programming and you should definitely put efforts and give your time, invest your time in learning programming. Now, this is one of the aspects with respect to the work, with respect to the tasks that you can do if you know programming. But now let's move to the second point that is with respect to interviews. In many of the interviews, if you see, they will schedule the technical rounds. So they will be there will be multiple rounds. One would be the managerial round, one would be the technical round, online assessment test would be there. So in the technical round, in the first technical round itself, you might be asked to write few of the programs. Maybe if you are having good command on any of the programming language, then they can ask you questions related to writing programs or maybe Fibonacci series, reverse a particular string, arrays, linked list, and all these things. So they are also emphasizing to hire a candidate who has got good programming skills. So in interviews also, they are giving more importance to know the coding skills, to know the programming skills. How much programming do you know? So many good organizations, many good MNCs, even startups, they are putting their coding round first. Right. So no matter how good you are in testing, you will not be able to get into the interview or clear the interview if you are not able to clear the first round itself, that is of coding round itself. Right. Even in technical round, they will expect you to write some basic code, some basic programs, and then they will ask you to explain that particular code, what you have written, how will you optimize this particular code. For example, for one program you had created or you have given them one solution. Right. Now they will ask you okay, which is the other solution, which is the other approach that you can take to solve this particular problem. So this is with respect to interviews. Now let's look at the third aspect that is deployment, right? Now, when it comes to deployment, so earlier what used to happen that the programmers used to deploy the code, they used to write the code and they used to you know create a build do a release and all these things but now testers are also getting involved in these things right so as a tester it might happen in some of the organization it is expected from you to uh, to do a unit testing of some particular code right for example the programmer has written some particular code or crude functionality now how will you unit test it right so how, how will you test whether the code has got properly deployed on production server or not? So if you are having good programming skills, you might be able to read YML, file, YML files, right? You might be uh, able to read why this particular logic has been developed and, and you would be able to troubleshoot why this particular issue has popped up in the production environment, right? So there can be a possibility that you are a good tester, but if you have, Sorry, you are a good tester with no coding skills, but if you have a coding skills, then automatically there are chances that you get a good job with more package, with more salary hike. So it is very important to learn programming these days. You cannot ignore programming skills. It is good to have programming skills along with the testing. We cannot neglect programming skills in testing, right? So these are the three aspects that we wanted to cover in this video. First is you need to have a good knowledge in programming or coding 
if you want to do automation, if you want to clear interviews, second and third is the deployment and troubleshooting of the issue. So this is why it is very important to have the programming knowledge if you want to make your career in the testing. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for more updates.